Okay, so now let's discuss how code build integrates with CloudWatch in different ways. So the first way, obviously, that it integrates with CloudWatch is with CloudWatch logs. So remember, when we went into the edit configuration, we had the option to set CloudWatch logs and also send logs to S3. So here, if we go to CloudWatch logs, remember in our log groups, we have our code build, and anytime a build is run, we get a new log stream with a build ID, and for the build ID, we get all the lines of the log that happened. So this is really handy because every time code build stops our build, the, Docker, the underlying Docker container is gone, and so the only trace of the log we'll have will be in CloudWatch logs or in S3 if we did enable that option. So that's the first integration, and it's actually a very simple one. Next, the integration we have is around the CloudWatch metrics. So we have some code build specific metrics. And by the way, if you go back to all, there is a automatic dashboard we can set up. And here we get some information around how many builds have been successful, how many builds have failed, and how many builds happen over time, as well as the average duration of a build. So this is a really nice dashboard that's built for us by CloudWatch and it shows the different metrics that could be exposed by cloud by code build. So what we would use this? Well, for example, if we had too many failures, we could create an alarm on top of the number of builds that have failed. Or if the builds start taking a lot longer than usual and the duration average is too high, maybe something's wrong and maybe we're going to overpay. So maybe we also want to set an alarm for this. And if we have too many builds happening, maybe there's a bug. And so we maybe want to have an alarm on this as well. So all these metrics that are exposed by code build are here. We have them by project or at the account level. And we get a bunch of them. We get about 14 by project and 14 by account. So you can start building some really nice integration and so on. But the most important one is going to be around CloudWatch events. So there's two kind of integrations I want to show you. The first one is how do we schedule code builds from time to time? So remember here, when I was starting my build, I said start build and I clicked on start build to make it happen. But what if you wanted to test our project every hour, for example? So we could go to CloudWatch events and we could create a schedule and say every one hour, you are going to emit a new event and the target of that event is going to be code build projects. And so we need the project ARN. So for this, I click on learn more and I can see that the build project ARN is of this form. So let me paste this here. So we need the region ID. So we are in EU West one. Uh, for the account ID, you can go to support center right here. And if you click on support center, then you get the account number at the very top. So here is my account ID. And then we need to remove the space and then the project name which is right here. So the project name is, and we go back to code build right here. So I copy this and I will paste it. Unfortunately, there's no better way of doing this. So here is my full ARN for my code build project. And here, because CloudWatch needs to invoke code build, then we need to have a new role being created for this specific rule. So a new role will be created called invoke code build, blah, blah, blah. Okay, configure details and I'll call it invoke could build every hour. And this is what we'll do. And here is a way using CloudWatch events to invoke code build every hour in order to test our code very often. But there's other ways, right? Anything that comes out of CloudWatch, any event in here could eventually have a target to be code build. And so we could have some really cool integrations again, using CloudWatch events for saying, okay, whatever happens to my code commit repository, then have a target. There'll be a better way of doing it, for example, using code pipeline, but that's one way of building it. Okay. Next with CloudWatch events, we can also have stuff happening directly to the code build service. So if you scroll down and have 
code build in here, we can react to a bunch of events in code build. So for example, the build state can change. It can change to failed, in progress, stopped, or succeeded. So maybe when code build fails, then we want to have a target, and that target could be a Lambda function, or it could be an SNS topic, and saying, hey, something failed in code build, send a message to that SNS topic. Or it could be a phase change, for example, when it enters into um, the submitted one. So we can have a look at all the submitted things. And then we want to invoke a Lambda function that will post this into Slack, who knows? So all these things, the build state change and the build phase change could be events ca uh, caught by CloudWatch events. And then we could have all the targets of CloudWatch events. So we can start building some really, really cool integrations with this. And so I wanted to show you this at a high level so you can see all the type of integrations that CloudWatch has with CodeBuild because it is the basis, the basis for your DevOps uh, projects that you will do in your AWS. And the exam will definitely ask you how to build these kind of automations. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture.